Hi, this is Bryce with eLearning Brothers. Today I'm going to show you around a new feature in Captivate 9 called Motion Paths. Now if you remember in Captivate 8 there were animations that did similar types of things. However, with uh, Motion Paths it introduces a, a way you can determine the starting location and the end location of a certain object. So let me show you around. First off, if I select any object I go to the, and I go to the timing tab, I can now see the effects options here in this timing tab. And I think that's amazing. Captivate uh, 8 normally had this effects, um, the effects options in uh, a window down here by the timeline. So uh, for, for me personally, I felt it was a little bit, uh, you know, not as intuitive as it is now where, where it's now all bundled in one spot. The, the effects are here and also the transitions are here too where um, we're also in Captivate 8 had uh, transitions just regular fade in fade out transitions here in the timing but again had this effects over here down here so it's kind of in two places and I really feel like they did a great job at updating and making it a lot better for the user experience by making it all in one spot here so that's one great thing However, uh, another nice thing about this is uh, just the easy way, easy way to see how the animation will, um, will look before you actually apply it to it. So for instance, if I want it to rotate, I just hover over and I can see it rotating. Um, if I want to do an emphasis like a flicker, go on and off, um, I can see it look like that. So, uh, so pretty neat. Also, um, so let's go to this motion path right away. I can make circle motions, I can make a custom line, I can make them loop like this, I can do uh, all these different types of animations, uh, which um, can be, uh, have a lot of different purposes, a lot of different uh, utility you can be had from, from these point to point animations. So, um, so yeah, if I do just the regular left to right, let's look at this and see what, it's, uh, what it means and what it's doing exactly. So uh, if I put that in, it has this arrow, green arrow, and a um, red uh, square, where this green spot is the middle location, the starting middle location of the object. So as we can see, it's in the middle of this object right now. However, check this out. If I go ahead and move it over here, and um, the, the image isn't actually going to start here anymore. It's going to start over here. So let's see how that looks. See, see what I mean? It never even actually got into that one spot that I placed it on the screen. So you can get a little, um, little crazy with these uh, motion paths if you're not careful. So, um, so do be careful with those and know exactly what these mean that you know what I want maybe the ending location to be right there so then I preview and play the slide and it goes into that place now uh, if you see let's show that again the ending location was a little bit different than where I placed it on this on the uh, stage so uh, that can be a little thing that you don't want exactly so so a way I kind of cheat the system a little bit is is this, and I think this is a great way uh, to uh, to do things. Is if I go ahead and delete this, I can add also. Let's actually add, and I'll show you that functionality. So if I add a, an effect, and I say entrance, and you know what, I kind of like this ease in fading in type of animation, but you know what, I actually don't want it to come in from, from the right or the left to the right. I want it to come in in a diagonal like this. I can utilize this motion path that is a preset motion path from, uh, from these preset uh, navigation or preset um, things here and, and customize it to exactly how I want it. Now with uh, Captivate 8 again, remember it had these preset things but it didn't show you exactly the starting location and the ending location of the object. Now you can grab this and move it around to wherever you want. Now let's go ahead and preview it now. See how it 
uh, added in both of these animations. This one that went from uh, the bottom left to the middle of the screen and this one from the top to the middle. So it kind of did an in between those two and also did a fade. But so that's kind of uh, the way those work is it adds them together and making a one animation. It tries tries to do its best to, to mold those two animations together. But I don't want both of them. So let's do uh, from left to right. Let's delete that one. And so now I just have this one and preview, play the project, and that's how I want it to look. All right, so that's a little bit about the motion pass. Please feel free to, to play around with this. It's a lot of fun to just kind of put your hands in and, and figure out exactly what you want and how you want things to animate and look. So good luck and have fun.